Okay, that's cool. Let's see if that'll work here. All right, well, let me see if I can make that even a better image here for you guys. All right, I got YouTube. Hi, YouTube. And then I'm gonna go Instagram. And I got Instagram going, and I'm gonna go live on Facebook. And let's see how this goes. Wow, that looks awesome. All right, well, there we go. Wow. Yay me. Oops. Uh-oh. Let's try it again here. Oh, I was, I was so, I was so close. Oh, well, I'll try it again on Facebook. This is a grand experiment, you guys. I'm trying to see how many of these I can get going at the same time. And uh, let's see here. There's Facebook. Good to see you guys. Hello. One more time. Let's see if this is going to work here. I think what happens, I didn't select a microphone. So, so I got the MXP and I got a default to my Samson, Samson Meteor. And let's get that one and let's go live. Go live. All right. It looks like I'm live on everything. That is pretty cool. Well, hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to zoom this in just a bit so you guys can see it. And hi. Hey. Uh, uh, hi. Hi on my Instagram. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Facebook. Hello, Zoom. All right. Well, welcome back, you guys. This is our Mighty Monday class right here. Mighty Mondays. And I want to thank all of my members of Draw3D.com. Thank you for, for <coughs> joining me today. If you're a member of Draw3D.com, Com. You get the free Monday, you get 500 recorded lessons on uh, draw3d.com. And you also get every Monday live at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, and at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. Now, for all of you family members that uh, want to draw with me every day live on Zoom, uh, shout out to all my Zoom right now, my Fine Arts Camp families. This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday live Thank you so much for your membership. For those of you who are uh, guests today on uh, YouTube and, and on Facebook and Instagram, uh, thank you so much for drawing with us, and, and please consider a membership. I think you would love it, and we would love to have you, okay? Of course, grab 10 copies of my best-selling You Can Draw in 30 Days book. Woo! Oh, yeah. Look, I have to put my, I have to put my little guy up here. Oh, yeah. All right, for all you guys on Zoom, give me a thumbs up so I can see that you're with me. And we're going to draw. Now, earlier today, during our lesson today, we drew some ancient Egypt. We drew some pyramids, and we drew the mummy, and we drew uh, the, the flying. This was the actual lesson. Here, let me put the actual lesson. That's what we drew earlier today, okay? We drew the pyramids. Isn't that cool? And we drew the mummy, and we drew the flying mummy. So on this one... Today, I want, to, I want to draw the pyramids in a little different. I'm going to do the same thing. I'll do uh, some floating pyramids. I'm going to change our perspective. And then down here, I'll put a flying... You know what? I think I'll have the flying mummy on top and the floating pyramids at the bottom. So get your blank piece of paper and get your pencil and put a dot just, just to kind of uh, space out our drawings. Put a dot right here and very lightly draw a light down the middle, light line, and light across. So we have our four territories, four squares. All right. And we'll zoom these in a little bit and kind of move them around. Uh, all right. Now, in your first square, uh, up here a little higher, I'm going to start with that flying mummy. I'm going to draw a guideline coming right through here so we know the direction that the mummy is going to be flying. It's going to be this huge flying mummy. And I'm going to zoom my camera in so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'll zoom this one in right here. So the mummy's going to be taken off flying. So I'm going to draw the mummy's face right here. This is going to look really cool. It's going to be like soup, super mummy. Then his body, I'm blocking it. I'm sketching it really lightly. 
sketching. I, I hope you guys grab a pencil and are going to be drawing with me here. Just sketch, get sketch. No stress, you guys. No stress. Stress is on the bus. Look at this. If you make a mistake, no problem. You guys have the license to flop. It's okay. You have to fail to succeed. You have the license to flop. Go ahead and make as many mistakes as you... The more mistakes you make, the better, the better and better your drawings are going to be, okay? Oh, look at you guys. I voted. I voted. Everybody give me a thumbs up. Everybody gives me a thumbs up. I hope you guys are all voting. And here's a little note. Saturday, October 24th, noon central. I'm, I'm coming up here. I keep on bumping my, my table, so sorry about that. Uh, I'm Saturday on October 24th. I'm teaming up with Artemis Mission to the Moon. NASA's Artemis Mission to the Moon. And my Draw 3D program. Okay, so... We're going to, we are going to, uh, this is on uh, Saturday the 24th, a live webcast at noon next Saturday for an hour. We're going to have uh, a special guest artist, a NASA astronaut, Alvin Drew. He's going to be our guest, uh, um, our featured guest from NASA. And he's going to be talking about building your own NASA moon kit. What are you going to take to the moon? For me personally, it's, I got to have a pencil and I have got to have a toaster bagel. So that's next Saturday live for a full hour. Now tonight, tonight, I'm so excited tonight, you guys. We have William Foster. He's our, our special guest tonight at 630. So this is a my promotion for you guys for the YouTube and the Instagram every month. So far, we started this in September, and this is our second month, and we're getting more and more cool artists. This is October, and these are all of our guest artists for my Fine Arts Academy. This is my Fine Arts Academy right here. See? Okay. This is at markkistler.com. And we've had a lot of these already this month, but tonight is William Foster. He is the ground control for international space station well one of the ground controllers and he was the ground control for many of the uh, space shuttle missions and he was he's ground control for the upcoming uh, artemis program mission to the moon and beyond so that's tonight at 6 30 i hope you you can join us uh, how many of you send me a text if you think it's 6 30 it's 6 30 p.m central time okay 6.30. I hope you guys... Raise your hand in the Zoom box if you think you can join me. Raise your hand. Oh, look at this. We got Emma. We got Fatima. We have Robbie. We have Melody. I wonder who we have on uh, YouTube here. Oh, look at this. We got some YouTubes here. Hey, hey, we have John Kim. Hi, John Kim. And we have Yelena. Oh, this is cool. I'm using some different phones I haven't used before. This is cool. And then I'm looking at the, the uh, Facebook notes. So wonderful. And Instagram notes, great to see you guys. Greg Kuhn, hi, guys. Good to see you. Really fun to see you. Now, now let's go ahead and work on our mummy flying here. So I'm going to draw the, the mummy's arm. So here's, here's my mummy. My mummy's going to be flying here. So I'm going to draw the, this, the, that's the angle, right? So I'm going to use this guideline right here. This is going to be the mummy's arm. See, watch this. I'm going to draw them. It gets large as it comes towards you. And there's a four shortened circle. See that? Now, we're coming right through the body. I'm going to draw that back leg coming out here. And then curve the bottom. So, see, the mummy's going to be flying up. And as it gets coming towards you a little bit, it gets larger. That size. And the end of the hand, the end of the arm is four shortened. All right. So, we know that this mummy is going to be blocking that arm's gonna be blocking the view of the body. So I'll clean that up right here. And you guys on Instagram sure are being patient with my wiggly camera work. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are drawing. Anybody drawing out there with me? And I'm gonna adjust this picture here on my uh, YouTube. Will you focus it for me here? I hope you guys can see it. This is a grand experiment. I'm trying to, I'm trying all these different platforms at the same time just to see if it works here. Hey, Melody, have you tried the different platforms? How's it looking on the, on the others? Now, up here, so I'm going to put this, uh, this arm a little bit smaller back behind here. See this? 
it's gonna be you can barely see it so I know I know that the face here oops I love my erasers I love all my fancy erasers so you draw a light and you block it and so this will be the body that's the head actually and here's the body coming around here and there's that leg I'm tape I'm gonna make my leg a little bit bigger tapers out there's the back of the mummy's head there's the back there's the mummy's butt and then there there is the back of his other leg that's a peekaboo leg back here now the other arm you can see the other arm is coming up so he's going to be zooming right superhero and this one's kind of it's tucked behind here a little bit see that it's a little bit further away this is so cool you guys so cool oh look at this i just got a, a, a membership thank you so much for your membership you guys let's see who i can just give a shout out to this member who just uh ordered well thank you guys now tonight at 6 30 if you want a free link for that zoom link for that special i'm not going to do tonight's program on instagram facebook and on youtube it's going to be just a special one for my the Fine Arts Academy and my Draw 3D um, families. So if you want a free Zoom link, I'm going to make it friends and family. And you guys at Draw 3D and you guys on my uh, Fine Arts Academy, you guys can share your Monday link with anybody you want. You go and share it. I just, I want to have, this is such an exciting lesson The tonight that I'm going to be drawing the image of the cupola the sat the international space station's observation window see that these are curved lines look at do these curve contour contour look at this i'm going to curve these lines a lot curve these lines a lot look at this i'm going to curve curve them even more than you think you have to curve these lines a lot he's flying back into space so curve them these contour lines darken these lines in this is our flying mummy woohoo all right, doing good. Now, you guys on Zoom, send me a text and let me know how you doing on Zoom, you guys. Send me one through five. Everybody out there on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, send me a one through five. Five being fantastic and one being eh. And I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do little snippets of my lessons with with uh, you, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I have. I have missed drawing with you guys. I usually try to post one drawing a day, and I haven't done it for a few weeks because I've been so busy working on my new book and Zooming my Art Academy classes. But I'm going to try to do come back here. What do you guys, did you, have you missed me as much as I missed you? Have you missed me? Let me see. I need some love on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Let me see. I'm looking for any comments here. Hey, Yelena is drawing with me. Yelena's giving me a John Kim sending me love. Christina. Christina said, good job. Uh, thank you, guys. And let's see. I'm checking on Instagram, looking for notes. I got some thumbs up. I'm looking on Facebook. Hey, there's Karen Wall. Hi, Karen Wall. I haven't heard seen you in a long while. How you doing? There's uh, Mr. Blanchard. There's Victor. There's uh, Beth King. Hi, Beth. Good to see everybody. Hey, whenever I do this, I want to start keeping this up to date i got this really cool list look at this of all the different countries and states i i know i mix it up that's how i think everything's kind of a big jumble in my brain but look at all these all these countries from and i'm adding so i'm going to squeeze in as many cities and countries so if you guys are uh from a state or a country that you don't see on my list right here send it on instagram text me on youtube text me on facebook and I want to I want to add that to my list. All right, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna add these curve these curved lines, curve them a lot on the face here, curve them a lot, and then I'm gonna put the the uh, his his eyes. He's flying, he's soaring, so he's he's like woohoo! He's gonna be looking up. So I'm gonna have one eye right here and another eye right here. This is, and he's gonna be looking up. And I'm going to darken that in. This is our, my ninja guy, right? So I'm making a little ninja mask here. And then his mouth, look at Here's his mouth. And I'm going, to, I'm going to draw his mouth wide open here. Here's his tongue. And he's just flying. He's so happy. Woo! There it is. He's taking off here. 
And then down on the ground, now watch this. This will be my horizon line right here. So right on the ground, coming right here. Now this, this is usually where I do a, a drawing direction compass right here and it will help us. Let's, let's go ahead and draw a drawing direction compass. Uh, take your pencil and put, uh, now, yeah, put two dots. We'll just do it. We'll use this as we usually do. Put two dots on the horizon, put your finger in the middle. And now this dot's a little too high because I missed mine. Just put a dot a little bit above your finger, a little bit below your finger. Now, there's a reason why we're gonna draw the four short and square right here. I do this just about every lesson. Put that foreshortening. Now to explain a little bit about foreshortening, it's squish and, and dis squish and distort. You need to squish and distort and, e and able to draw in 3D. Look at the minion's eyes. I love the minions. Some of my students are the ones that created the minions back in the 90s. Now look at the face. You see, hit the face right here. Now watch this. Look at the goat goggles. If I turn the goggles away from you, my minion, the eyes become squished. They become foreshortened. Now, I'm a huge uh, NASA geek. I love everything NASA, so that's why I always have my, my NASA patches here. Now, look what happens if I take this patch and if I, if I, if I foreshorten it here, see if I squish it, if I tilt it. You see this, it becomes foreshortened. See, we squish it, it becomes further away. I'll do the same thing with this uh, Artemis, my draw Artemis patch, watch this. If I tilt it, the near, it becomes squished. The whole image becomes squished. That's what we're doing, squish and distort, right? So I'm, t I'm doing that for the top of the box. I'm gonna zoom that box in. Oops, a little bit too far on that one. And I'm gonna zoom the, uh, on this one. And I'm gonna draw this box, this cube. We're gonna use this as our drawing direction reference cube. Drawing direction reference cube. Now don't go straight across, go uphill. Now we'll see this angle right here? See that right there? See these angles? These are the reference lines that most artists use most of the time. Not all artists will use this all the time, but most artists. The drawing direction cube. Now these are the positions that I'm uh, usually, see what I'm doing right here is I'm having this guy fly up and uh, a direction uh, and the, this line right here, I'm gonna call this direction northeast. I'm gonna call this direction, uh, I, I, uh, made the wrong direction direction northwest southwest and southeast okay now watch this even i'm going to shade this now even when i add the cast shadow the cast shadow is going to line up in this guideline of direction southwest these are just really handy drawing directions and the folks in my art camp i'm sorry the folks in my fine arts academy i got so used to saying art camp this summer and the folks in my draw 3d uh, family membership. Uh, they uh, have seen this many times on a lot of Mighty Mondays. So what I want to do is I want to encourage you guys, go to draw3d.com, do the free lessons, of course, and do get the free printables. Get these charts. You print up these charts. You can get this chart right here and download the, the Renaissance Word chart. And uh, you can download for free the uh, 12 uh, Renaissance Words the drawing direction compass, and you can also download the uh, 99 pencil power levels of drawing. These are gonna help you with your success levels, and it's based on my new book, you can draw in 30 seconds, okay? All right, so pushing on with our mighty Mondays, mighty Mondays, someone type in woohoo. Here, I gotta, gotta use, my, use my, my paper puppets that we love so much. Someone, someone type in yippee in the text box. Let me say it. Someone type in yippee. Someone type in aha. We love the genius ideas. We're spreading our wings. Spreading our wings with genius ideas. Woo-hoo. Spreading our wings. Flying away. You guys are so smart. Look at I'm going to put my... You guys are geniuses. I'm watching you. I'm watching you geniuses. I got my eye on you. My pencil power penguin pack. My pack of pencil power paint here. So I just have many of these. Look at, oh, you cool cosmic kittens of creativity. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. I love my, I love paper puppets. These are so awesome. All right, moving on. So we have, we have our shadow. So what I want to do down here is I want to draw the shadow of the, the shadow of this, the, the mummy here. So I'm going to actually put the whole shadow of the mummy flying. So this mummy is going to be going along in this 
shadow. Look at this. I put this, the mummy, and I'm going to draw the horizon line here. I'm going to put the horizon line a little bit higher. And so I'm going to put the mummy coming down in this direction. Look at the mummy. It's actually putting the whole box in shadow. Look at that. The mummy's flying over the box. Do you love it? Do you love it? Isn't that cool how that turned out? Now, this really, uh, let's use some shading. I'm going to have the light. Let's identify where the lights come from. I'm going to put the light source up here in the top right. And the light's coming down. Put the light up there in the top. And the light's coming from the top right coming down. So I'm going to shade opposite. I'm going to shade all the way. Look, I got another member joining, signing up for my Draw 3D. Thank you guys so much for your support and joining my family of creativity. Remember, when you sign up for Draw3D.com, you get Mighty Mondays. You get access to 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, noon, 4 o'clock, and 6.30. It's a wonderful, wonderful deal. And a lot of you guys in my Zoom class are on my... Uh, on my Draw 3D family, so I appreciate that. Here, shade down here. I'm gonna add a layer of shading. Shade, shade, shade. Do you guys love it? Do you love it, love it, love it? Now, I'm, I'm hoping, Melody, how does that look on YouTube? Does that look okay on YouTube? I think this is YouTube. I can't remember if this is YouTube um, on this one. I got YouTube. And I have Instagram up there. Yep, th th so that is. How does YouTube look, Melody? Hey, let me see here. Uh, I Oh, my goodness. I thought I had a, uh, this fellow from Lucasfilm, one of my old students, uh, being my special uh, guest artist on, um, on uh, Saturday with NASA. But perhaps another episode. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. Okay, let's get lighter and lighter, dark here, get lighter as you come up. Get lighter as you come up, and I'll put a little bit of shading on his face. Now, this is where I'll use my, my blending stump. Stuffed animal moment, you guys. We're using our blending stump. Yeah, stuffed animal. Hold up your stuffed animals, my Instagram. Hold them up. Let me see them. My Zoom. Look at there's Melody, there's Rama, there's Clacy, there's Robbie, there's Fatima. You stuffed animal moment. We'll do the Una move. We always, the Uno, Una always comes in off the side when she does this. All right, guys, you guys on uh, on my Zoom, give me a one through five, five being great. How do you like, how do you like the flying mummy? How did you do? How do you like it? How did you do? One through five. You guys on Instagram, you guys on Facebook, send me a note. Let me know. How, how are you doing? Is anybody drawing with me on Instagram? I see a lot of activity on YouTube and Facebook, but I'm not getting a lot of response. I, I see I have viewers on Instagram. That's cool. And hey, YouTube, Christopher uh, gave me 11. Uh, Cisco, Cisco gave me 11. Thank you. One through five and he gave me 11. Awesome. Let's darken in the hands. That's away from the sun. Isn't that awesome, you guys? Do you love it? I'm going to zoom this in just a bit. And I'll zoom this in just a bit. And I'll focus it do you love it i love this guy all right now let's put i'm gonna i'm gonna give this guy a cape he's like a super he's he's super uh super super mummy so i'm gonna give this guy he's have he has a cape flying so i'm gonna look at him draw his cape flapping back here and his cape is gonna be curling i'm gonna curl the cape see that it's gonna have this awesome cape so he'll just fly it back a nice s curve hook it around he's zooming Zoom and flying. It's mighty mummy. Woo! And I forgot to you know, to finish the other side of the mummy's head back there. Now watch this. I'm gonna draw this the cape, the thickness. I'm gonna angle the thickness down from each of these edges. You see that? Angle the thickness of the cape here. And the cape is gonna curl up and it's gonna disappear behind behind the, the mummy, okay? So you can see the edge of the, the curling cape. And then right here, follow that guideline. And it, our perspective takes that angle and angles it down a little bit. All right, how did I do? Give me a, do you guys like that? You can send me a text if you want. Are you with me on this, guys? And I'm going to take, I'm going to see if I can move that down. Maybe a little bit better picture for you guys on. Christina, Christina likes it. That's awesome. So I'm going to zoom this out just a bit. 
All right, so now I'm going to darken this in here. It's not as dark. It's shaded under here. It's going to get lighter as it comes down. It's a curved object. Look, I'm going to draw the inside. Can't forget that. you got to draw the inside of that thickness there. I'm loving it. And then uh, I think I'll shade a little, little bit down here. Lighter and lighter and lighter. And then I'll put a little bit of darkness inside. Hey, how many of you again are going to come back tonight at 6.30? Now, if you're on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, remember, you have to email me. Email me to mark at markkistler.com, and I'll send you a free Zoom link for tonight's 6.30 special edition with our uh, featured guest, our celebrity guest, Ground Control for Imagination I'm sorry, ground control for International Space Station. I always say Imagination Station. I don't know if you guys, I always say it because I've been, I've been talking about the Imagination Station for, you know, 30, 40 years. Can you raise your hand. Anybody remember this show right here? Anybody remember that? We won the Emmy for that one. Ooh, la, la. And then this was Commander Mark. That's what I did back in 1985 on the Secret City. And Imagination Station was on public television in the 1990s. We actually won the Emmy for that, so that was really cool. Really cool. And now we're on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Zoom on our Fine Arts Academy. Now let's add, here, let's add something really cool. I'm going to put a dark value. I'm going to twist and turn my paper. It's okay to twist and turn your paper, you guys. Twist and turn. Dark here, and it gets lighter as it comes up. Dark here, it gets lighter as it comes up. I hope you guys can can see my drawings do you look does it look okay you guys dark here i gotta take a picture of this you guys aren't gonna believe this setup this is crazy here I'm, i'll take all right here let's put the uh there we go. I'm going to put a big giant. Here we go. Here comes the picture. Photo. Bam. All right. Looking good. I'm going to darken down here. Darken down here. Darken down here. <coughs> darken up. We're going to get lighter and lighter. Darken that horizon light. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Lighter and lighter. <laughs> Get lighter as it moves up. <laughs> Do you love it, love it, love it? Isn't that awesome? All right. Excellent job on our flying mummy going across. Now let's let's do a, another uh drawing challenge. So I'm going to draw down here. I want to draw the pyramids. Now, earlier, earlier today, we do our pyramids and we're looking down. So down here, I want to, everything seems to be flying. So let's draw some floating pyramids over here. <coughs> I'll start, I'll start with right here. I'm going to draw a pyramid slanting back in that direction right here. So we're going to draw the floating pyramid. I'm going to draw, this one will be pretty big. I'll, uh, I'll slant this pyramid down and I don't know what the story is behind these floating pyramids, but they're going to look very cool. So now these pyramids, in, in this case, the middle line is going to be shorter and these are going to be longer because watch this. I'm actually going to draw, I'm actually going to draw the four shortened square. See this? See two dots here and two dots far apart. I'm going to draw the four shortened square that's tilted a little bit away from me. You see that? I'm going to draw this a little bit. Uh, a little bit further away. A little bit. All right, this is a four shorten square. And there's our pyramid. We did a floating pyramid. I'm not gonna draw this. This is gonna be cool. I'll put a shadow down here.
but I want to draw another one slanting. This uh, would put another foreshortened square this way. Put two dots. I kind of slant it up like this, you see? And I'm going to see here, let me zoom this in. Now, right in the middle, I like to see right in the middle, I'm going to put a dot above and below. So I'm going to draw the foreshortened and a squished. That's what drawing the 3D is all about. And I'll slant, I'll slant this pyramid in this direction. Isn't that cool? I'll slant the pyramid in that direction right there. <laughs> Look, as I'm, I'm getting uh, family-related text messages, so I'm uh, ha. Okay. Now, so there's two floating, and I'm going to put another one over here. I'm going to put this one, I think I'd, I'm going to do another one slanting in that direction. So I'm going to put two, two guide points, two foreshort, two dots. I'm going to draw in the middle an angled foreshortened square, a foreshort, an angled line just so I can complete the guide dots for a foreshortened square. And this one's going to be really angled back. So sometimes I need to turn and twist my, my paper here so I get a really good... A really good line I can draw better see that isn't that gonna look cool with those floating pyramids kind of hovering and I think I'll put another one like right here a smaller one this will be cool so I'll put another little foreshortened square down here he's look at that aren't those fun you guys do you love it and then maybe I'll put another one over here I'm gonna put a foreshortened square <coughs> Oh, I love all these, you guys. This is great. There you go. Now, way down here below, let's do that horizon line. Let's do that horizon line. Let's put a shadow on the ground here. Let's put a shadow. I'm going to put three little shadows back here, underneath here. And then a big shadow right there. And I'm going to put some action lines around these guys, like they're really hovering. Put some action lines. Okay, here, shade, shade it dark. Shade it dark. And then underneath here, shade down here. Shade it dark. All right, shade it down here. All right, shade it down here. Now, we got a shade that we know the sun's coming from the top, so the sun would hit here. The sun on this one would hit here, and that would be shaded a bit. I think maybe I'll put a little bit of shading right here. Oh, that was a good one. Now, let's see, Ray, take our pencil and erase it. How? What kind of story are you going to tell about this crazy, this drawing right here with the hovering pyramids? You have the flying mummy <clears throat> and you have the hovering pyramids. Dark in here. Get lighter. Dark in here. Get lighter. Dark in here. Get lighter. Darken down here. Darken down here. <clears throat> oh, that is awesome. Well, hey, guys, this was just a, a really cool uh, sample lesson to show you guys what we do. And I want to thank my 4 o'clock Zoom class of Fine Arts Academy and Draw 3D. If you guys are watching on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or my special guest, uh, let me show you some of the drawings that we have done in the past, okay? <laughs> this was this morning. That's a drawing we did this morning. And last week, you got to take a look at this. I just, I just posted. Here, I'll show you. Uh, let me show you here. Here, what Fine Arts Academy. Let me show you last week's here. All right, so this was all, I'll show you last week's. So here's week nine. We've done uh, two, two weeks. Week nine, we practiced the pencil directions. We practiced drawing uh, block buildings. We drew uh, Jack, Jack, baby, Jack, Jack, and we drew the penguin, and we practiced for shortening. We did, uh, we practiced drawing the stacked uh, square wedding cape, and we did a 
Pop-Tart Toaster and the Flags. Here in this day hour, we did the shadow. We did our little fellow waving down. This is just one week of 3D drawing, you guys. We practiced different shading techniques. We practiced the poof ball every day. We did a bird. <coughs> we drew a little Munsters Incorporated mic. We drew the Whiskered Sned, our drawing direction compass, the Ninja Eggs up there. Looking cool here. I'm going to darken this up just a bit so you guys can see and zoom it. In. <coughs> Looking good, you guys. And then, oh, we did the Dancing Donut. <coughs> Excuse me. We did a snowman in the in the summer. I love the dancing donut. Do you guys like the dancing donut? And uh, we drew the um, duckbill platypus. Hey Emma, hello Emma from Scotland. Good to see you. I'm doing a. We did our stack of pancakes. We did uh, the finger puppets of different characters, and we did doorknobs, doorknobs, and more doorknobs. So that's just one week. Now we've done. This is our 10th week so far. Never too late to sign up. I hope you guys sign up for Draw 3D because Draw 3D comes with Mighty Mondays, which is, all, this is 500 recorded lessons. Plus you get all day Mondays of uh, different one hour Zoom uh, lessons. I would love to see you. Go to draw3d.com to sign up for that. Now, if you wanna draw with me every day, please consider sign up for the Fine Arts Academy every month. <clears throat> Every month we have all kinds. We have all kinds of special guest artists here. This was just in October. All these guest artists that joined our Fine Arts Academy. So thank you guys. Thank you for considering signing up for Draw 3D. Thanks for participating in our Mindy Mighty Mondays. Thanks for considering signing up for Fine Arts Academy. And I hope to see you guys. Uh, send me a request. I hope to see you tonight on our uh, at 6 30 for our guest nasa guest artist tonight nasa he's gonna uh, he's not an artist he well he is actually he's a quite a video editor uh but he's gonna be narrating his adventure while i draw the cupola observation deck on the international space station so thank you everybody for drawing with me i'm gonna go and say goodbye to facebook first goodbye facebook and i'm gonna say goodbye to instagram Goodbye, Instagram. How do I end it? End it here and in now. And I'll say goodbye to YouTube. So goodbye to YouTube. There we go. And let me see here. There's how do I end it? End. Uh, oh, right here. End. Boop. Uh, stop streaming. End.